Ahoy, Nathan Adlin here with the Fast Lane Car, and we're in the Rocky Mountains to test out three different types of all wheel drive systems in these crossovers. This particular one is the brand new Chevrolet Equinox with an X. And over here we have the brand new Ford Explorer, which once upon a time used to be a body on frame vehicle, and now it's a crossover. And if you follow me, we've got what you might think is not a crossover, but it has always been a crossover. The brand new Jeep Overland Summit. Of course, the question is, which of these three vehicles is best off-road? We've got our standard trail just to my left. We've got Nathan over there in his, uh, what the hell what kind of hat is that? Is that a lumberjack hat, Nathan? You know, say what you want, but I'm warm. <laughs> Coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. Work, man. Dude, <laughs> unlike some people, I have no hair. Okay, I mean this helps and it keeps my all-important brain. He cuts down trees, he gets his lunch, let's, and he goes to love a tree. Car and shut up. Okay, <laughs> come on, let's go. Alright, we're in the Equinox. Or do you say Equinox? I say Equinox. Alright. And uh, it's crazy cold out there. What kind of four-wheel drive system does this have, Nathan? This is the most basic in terms of all-wheel drive out of the three because it's a front wheel drive car and then when it needs traction in the back, when it detects slippage, it'll kick power to the back. It's not that sophisticated, but it works pretty well. Let's find out just how well it works by taking it up our standard off-road trail. You got I, it. Keep in mind guys that we've reviewed all these cars, so we're not doing a full review. We're doing a review of the different all wheel drive four-wheel drive systems in these cars. Absolutely. By the way, this one, there's no buttons to push. There's nothing, really. All I'm doing is I put it into manual mode, and there's a little button that I could switch uh, to drop it down a gear or lift it up a gear. That way I can hold first gear for a little bit longer. It might help. It might not. Yeah, you know, what really does help is, uh, well, good tires. What kind does this have? Uh, <laughs> these are uh, basic all-terrain tires. No, they're not all-terrain. They're basically all season. all season tires. That's all they are. And then, of course, ground clearance, which... <laughs> <laughs> not a lot. This doesn't have? No. It, this has... In the front, uh, with the front fairing coming down so low, it's it's less than six inches of usable ground clearance. Now, this path doesn't seem like it's very uh, steep and rocky, but film or video, in this case, can be deceiving, and it is. It, it really is. Yeah, we have to be pretty careful about where we're going and what we're doing. All right, Nathan, we're at the very beginning of the trail, and it gets a little rocky over here. <laughs> so let's see how this does, because I fear that we will be scraping the bottom of this vehicle very, very shortly. Oh, we'll be okay. If uh, you hear a loud thud and you, then you smell something, or you see fluid shooting out of the underneath of the vehicle, yeah. then you should panic. Now I'm seeing some pretty sharp boulders. Yeah. Right up ahead, but I'm not hearing anything yet. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it won't be long. Oh, well, not bad. Did, did better than I expected on that it's one. It's doing really well, actually. It's a little slippery here, folks. There's a heavy haze, and it's making everything ice up. Поехали, Nathan. Hey, where did he come from? What's he doing back there? He's always been with us. Andre's always with us. <laughs> is, he, давай, давай. is he here because we might get stuck and damage the car, Nathan? <laughs> no, he's here to help lift the car out using his incredible Russian muscles and then uh, getting us out of trouble. That's what he's here for. Well, I'm... Okay. Oh, yeah, we're stuck. Nope. Oh, no. Nope. Kind of. Not really. Sort of. It's got really, really slow. You know, I'm really surprised. This thing is doing better than I thought it would. Yeah, you know, it sits pretty high from inside, but I know for a fact that that front end is just millimeters from scraping. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go forward. Hold on. All right, Not ready? Done. Yep, tell right. me when you're ready. All right, go, go. Nathan, these rocks are getting... Oh, oh kind of... I think you put my gun. Oh, 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 hit again. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Nathan, you said... Oh, you said about stuff... Uh, getting stuck underneath the car. <laughs> I think we're... Um, yeah, I think we are too. I think we're there. I think uh, we're potentially damaging this vehicle if we try, because up ahead, it gets... Uh, harder and harder. Harder and harder. You know what? I'm going to show you guys. Let me go outside, grab the camera, and I'll show you how uh, Rocky gets up there so you can judge for yourselves. I don't know if you can see this. It doesn't look like much. It's probably six inches, but really, 
that's all it takes when you have only about five and six inches of ground clearance to get stuck and to damage a vehicle that doesn't belong to us. So we're going to go try the Explorer next. Here go, shot. All right, there's a clear demonstration of what ground clearance gets you when you go off-road. A guy in that old pickup is just flying down while Nathan is slowly inching backwards. I think he's on drugs. <laughs> he might be right, Nathan. All right, we're in the Explorer now, which has this dandy knob. I believe that is a terrain management system, Nathan. Yeah, it looks familiar. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, could it be that it is from the Land Rover? Oh, back when Ford used to own Rover? Well, similar to it. So we've got three possible settings here. We've got forest, sand, and snow. I'd say we go with forest. Forest it is. But no air suspension. Nope. So no more ground clearance. That could be trouble. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, it turns the uh, traction and stability system off, I believe, when you put that on. So far, so good. My worry, once again, is the same as with the Chevy. This used to be body on frame, but when they turned it into more of a soft crossover, they took away a lot of the ground clearance, which made it very off-road capable. What's your thinking? I think it rides like a crossover, and I don't think it should go too high because it will get it caught and we'll get in trouble. All right, well, this is the easy part. No issues right here, but here comes <coughs> the very start of the rocky terrain. Yep. This is where people say, hey, I could take my Dodge Dart up here. Yeah, and, and one of our videos, we actually challenge you guys about that. Yeah, check that one out yeah. below. What do I spy up ahead, my friend? The Equinox. Yeah, yeah, I think this is where we gave up on that car. So far, the Explorer does seem to be doing a little bit better. Um, haven't hit anything yet. Yeah. You know, the front end is very low for a good reason. It's for aerodynamics. Yeah, which is the exact opposite of what you want out here. Yep. Yeah, I know. He just, just, just drive. Don't worry about it. He shows. He does. He does this thing. Where did he come from again? Just never question the Andre. All right, all right. Uh, uh, I think right here we're coming up to that rock that uh, you got caught in the Chevy on. Yeah, this cut crossed it with no problem. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, doing much, much better. I'm actually very surprised at how well this is doing. So maybe this terrain management system is actually doing something. I wish it would raise the suspension. That would make me a lot happier. If the suspension went up three inches, this would be a completely different kettle of fish. All right, here comes the uh, the bad part. Well, it's only bad if you scrape. Andre's gone. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Does he know something we don't know? Because <laughs> it's getting pretty pretty rough right about here. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it goes again. <laughs> that was a little bit of a scrape. <laughs> All right, we'll be fine. <laughs> we just we scraped? Just a little, yeah. yeah, a little, a little scrape. A little, little, nothing big, nothing big. It's a truck, it's tough, right? No, man, this is a mommy <laughs> mobile. This thing is mainly used for going to Safeway and taking the kiddos to school. Oh, this is a truck. It can take it. No, it can't. I'm telling you, it can't. My name's on this rental agreement. I know you <laughs> are playing a game again, and you don't care if we get stuck or if we don't get stuck, but I would hate to pay to have us towed out of here. Towed out of here? They'd have to helicopter us out of here. <laughs> hey, you know my uh, blind spot monitor just went up? Did it really? Yeah, look, yours is off, too. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I wonder if it's still in us, like, 
Uh, bad mojo up ahead. Oh, bad mojo. Ooh, or maybe, uh, maybe it thinks the tree next yeah. to us is... Oh. That, was, that was just the wheels. You know, I'm not enjoying this, Nathan. I'm not, <laughs> yeah. uh, this is not, this is not <laughs> what this beast was meant for. We're not in its natural environment. We're just... Uh, Precisely. But if you can handle this environment, then it's better. See, that, was, that wasn't anything. That was nothing. That was you know, nothing. It, it does, granted, it does get good traction. Yeah, considering it's got street tires. Yeah, yeah, it's, the, the traction is incredible. Once again, I think it's the lack of ground clearance that's causing issues, not the tires or the traction. So I say uh, traction control system works, uh, lack of ground clearance doesn't. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, it gets even harder. Should we take the Jeep? Yeah, we can't go, f yeah, we can't go through that. Yeah, let's take the Jeep. All right, Jeep. You know, this weekend I had Ford Sync system freeze up on me. I wish there was a way to fix it. I really wish there was a... Roman, you have to have a chance. Andre, it's not an Eva. It's okay. I think I'll just uh, unplug the battery. I think that'll be a smarter way to get that thing to reset. No, Andre. Relax. You know what? I think he got mad because he called this a crossover. He takes it personally. Yeah, I mean, it's a Jeep. Sorry, I know it's a Jeep for all you Jeep purists. And uh, frankly, this has train management. It also has uh, underbody cladding. It also has air suspension. Yes, it does. And it has a proper low gear locking differential and it is a proper off-road vehicle when you say crossover a lot of people think oh wait a minute he means a front wheel drive vehicle that has all wheel drive no what he's saying is this is a unibody vehicle and it is all right how's the drive nathan i see you have a heated steering wheel <laughs> it's really nice yeah <laughs> see and even the wood's heated yeah even the wood is heated isn't that nice that it is, is nice i remember the butte guy once told us they couldn't heat the wood oh, oh. shame on you the thing is, this is such a relaxed vehicle to take into the dirt that it just doesn't, you don't get the white knuckles that you get when you're driving, even a vehicle like the Ford, which does have some sort of terrain management system. It doesn't give you that type of confidence. This? Seriously? You just drive it and just point it the right direction and it goes and there's no fear of it banging or hitting or... Nathan, normally when we go up, we go up the left side here because it's easy. And I see you're going up the right side. I'm going up the right side. Which is, <laughs> which is pretty rough. Uh, not for this. Oh, God, look at that. Yep. I mean, these are good 10, 12 inch drop offs and boulders that we're just climbing over like we're, you know, taking a walk in the Sunday park. Because it ain't no thing for the Jeep. You get it with this package. This is the Overland, by the way. You can pretty much do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's stuck. No, no, it's not stuck. It's, it's rough and ready. Yeah, it does what it wants. So we have three very different vehicles. This is, of course, the most expensive and by far the most off-road worthy. In fact, it's so off-road worthy that we've taken up this trail oh, a bunch of times already, so there's no reason in going because it'll make it all the way. Nathan, you're standing next to what are basically four-wheel drive vehicles for a dirt road or perhaps the snow. That's one of the reasons they call them all-wheel drive. It's very simple. The Ford does have a train selection ability, but that system is really built for loose dirt, snow, stuff like that. This Look, point it and forget it. Just keep on going until it won't go any further. There's nothing you can adjust. But with that said, did pretty good. As always, this is Roman. And Nathan. For the fast lane car, we're gonna get shot, Nathan. These guys are crazy, even in this crappy weather they're out there shooting. That's why we got Andre. He'll save us. <laughs> See you next time. And remember, we have new videos that go up every single day. Ciao. All right, gentlemen, on the count of three, are you ready to have a tailgate race? Let's get it on! All right, you've got the what? Uh, the Equinox. And Andre, what do you have? Jeep. And I have the Explorer. Okay, one, two, three, go!
Go! Hey! <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah, number two. Mine takes only one push. Oh, so that way, that way, that way. <laughs> oh, Andre, bummer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's completely useless. Mine and Andre's take two pushes. That's true, but mine, you don't get the push button. You have to actually stick it in there and turn it. Yeah, it sucks. 